Good morning ladies and gentlemen Welcome back to the channel In today's video we jump on to part 2 of this series I already uploaded part 1 um, The link will be down in the description and up in the card as well So in part 2 we're gonna continue with our stonework We're gonna go a bit um, deeper into the stonework explain, Explaining to you guys if you're a beginner you just started to lay stone a bit of chick here and there as we go with no further ado let's dive right into the video guys hope you enjoy it hey guys how it's going but uh, before i jump into the video i want to take the time out to say thank you to all my subscribers and viewers we the milestone a thousand subscribers i i truly appreciate you guys um be a part of my team subscribe to my channel and watch my video i want to say thank you all of you all of you guys who support um, support me over the three months I start YouTube thank you again be safe so guys this is called a weeping plastic this is what we use to prevent the water from going inside in case later on afterwards we're gonna make a hole so that the water can escape if anything goes behind the wall In your first stone you always want to try to leave at least a quarter an inch underneath later on in case you want to parge or anything you can you have enough to put, uh, leave a little bit of parging uh, space underneath to go three feet with, with the same one this way the stone is more easier to lay in my opinion you are allowed to go no more than four feet this way the seat around three feet right now so the rule is to the rule is to don't go no more than four feet this way i just see it's it's less than four feet now and i break it so now i'm gonna put a different size right here right now Okay guys, so we'll go another three feet with medium. Now we're gonna break it again with a different size. So here we're gonna put a, let's put a, um, let's put a big one. For the big one, we wanna put a wedge under the bottom. Because it's starts to carry lots of weight. It's good to put a wedge underneath the bottom. Do your first row basically what you want to do to make sure all them as you notice this is a different size you want to match the bottom so you want to make sure you, you match the bottom here you match the bottom even though when you put the level it will fall right back in place very important to plumb your first one to so put the level like this check and make sure the bubble is in the middle that way it's plumb okay once you plumb all of them next thing you want to do to, to use as a gauge to go all the way up you want to use your finger as you see I put my finger like this so every now and again you use your finger like this make sure your finger is rubbing onto the the, the, the wall that way you know the, the stone is perfectly straight
so guys chicken keeping a clean nice stone work keep your stone looking clean and nice without mortar spill all over it is to make your mortar your, your mortar stiff you see get it as stiff as you can get it that way you won't have any water running all over the mortar to make a mess to do still got to work as you see I put up my tarp put up my top right there and we cover up <laughs> we got to get the job done yes guys another one the rain is out today today's a rainy day but we we'll cover up and try and to get the job done because I have a lot of projects ahead of me that I have to get done don't want to be behind time so I decided to put the tarp over and still get it done. I want to try and finish the job this week. Hope all you guys are staying safe. Okay, let's start from out here with this one. So this is how you set up your plastic. It's very important to make sure it go underneath here. So just in case any water runs down here on the wall, it go right here and it come here and it escape to here. I'm gonna put a hole after I put my sill, a weeping hole right there. So that is how we, I set up this one here, being as it's stone. Take the measurement for a seal. You want to measure from the wall that you're going to here. So basically we're gonna 45 here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna measure from the wall. So it's two feet from here. So you wanna measure two feet, you wanna add six and a five and a half. You wanna add five and a half onto two feet so that you get your 45 and mark in this way. You see what I mean in a minute. Yeah. Okay guys, so Earlier I explained to you guys the measurement where we want to cut our 45 is um, it's two feet. You want to measure two feet from the back of the sill. So here is two feet. Take two feet on the front as well. And then you're going to take from these two feet here back this way five and a half inches. Then you're going to get your square and make one mark the 45. So this is a 45 cut we're putting on our silk so just like so now we're gonna cut it off so this is our 45 cut let's go and install it So that's where it's level, now we want to catch our slope. 
So you want to put your, 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 your small level on top, make sure you have sl a slope. As you see right there, this is the slope that we have. We don't want to have a crazy of amount of slope. That's good enough. Next thing you want to check, you want to check for here and over here. So clear, it's telling me now that I need to come out this side a little bit. You want to have the same amount of space here and the same amount of space here. And another thing you want to make sure you check for is the jipper underneath. You want to make sure it's clear. So whenever the water run on top of your sill, it will go right in the line, the jipper line, which is this line here, and it will run right out. Let's check again. Okay, I think we set with this one, guys. And it's the same procedure you're gonna do for the other side over here. Same way we're gonna take our two feet and make the mark just as we did for that one. That's good enough. Okay guys, there you have it for this one. If you get value from this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We still have um, uh, the, the pillar coming up. We have some, some stone hearts that I'm gonna upload soon. Until then, I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.